Take a look at this CAD model. It's a sphere with a continuous groove spiraling along the surface. Sure, it's not exactly an industrial part, but it's surprisingly tricky to make. It's a real test of your CAD chops, and honestly, most CAD jockeys overthink it. I'm going to show you how to create it in four features using Onshape, the most advanced cloud-native CAD and PDM system on the planet. Let's dive in. I just need to open a browser tab and log into Onshape. No installs, no updates, just CAD. I'll create a new document and give it a name. And then I'll start sketching on the front plane. I hit N to snap normal to my sketch and P to hide the default planes. Now everything is nice and clean. I'll draw a 200 millimeter circle centered on the origin, hit escape and scoot that dimension out of the way. Now I'll grab the polygon tool and sketch a hexagon. I'll make the inscribed diameter the same as my original circle, and I'll make sure that the right side is vertical. Now using the L hotkey, I'll quickly draw a vertical center line, and then I'll hit the C key to switch back to the circle command and sketch three small circles on the midpoints of the hexagon's right side segments. I'll select all three of these little circles and apply an equal constraint and then I'll dimension one of them to 25 millimeters. Now they're all 25 millimeters. It's time to create our first feature. I'll use the revolve tool on the right hand of the sketch, spinning it around that center line, but I don't want it to be 360 degrees. Instead, I want to limit it to 180 degrees. This gives us half a ball, and I'll flip the direction to make the next steps easier to see. Next, I'll know I'll need a small reference axis for a later rotation, so I'm going to drop a make connector on the flat face of a sphere. This is kind of like adding a local datum with axis and planes, except it's faster and smarter, and Onshape even suggests good snap points. Let me hide the origin so you can see it better. If you're still using an old installed CAD system, you might need to create a new axis with intersecting planes. It's going to take a lot more steps, and I hope you don't crash. Moving on, it's time for the magic. I'll mirror the part using the flat face, but here's the trick. I wanna make sure it creates a new part, a second half, without merging it to the original. And then I'll use the transform tool to rotate this new half 60 degrees counterclockwise, using that mate connector as the center of rotation. By the way, I could have created the mate connector right inside the transform tool, but I split it out as a second step to make it easier to follow and understand. And just like that, my ball is now groovy, elegant, and easy peasy. Now it's time to stitch everything together. So I'll do a Boolean union to join both halves into one solid part. Now let's dress it up a little. First, I'll rename the part. Then I'll change the solid's color. But to give it a little bit more pop, I'll select a face within the groove, right mouse click, select the adjoining tangent faces, go to the appearance panel, and give it a different color. Now things are looking great. And did you know that Onshape tracks everything I just did? Every step is stored in the version and history graph. I can restore to any point in this history if I need to, or I can bookmark the current status as a version and add more information. Now since you stuck with me this far, I'll show you a few more tricks. Let's fire up Render Studio and add a marble texture to this ball. I'll just drag and drop the texture, removing the current surface appearance, and very quickly, it looks stunning. It looks like some type of artifact from Atlantis. Low effort, cool results, all running in a browser with no software installed. I have one more thing to show. Onshape has a unique capability to let you make bold design changes. 
Instead of copying files, I can make a branched workspace, which can act like a safe little sandbox still within my document. Here, I'll work in that sandbox, I'll go back to the original sketch, and I'll bump up the groove circle size. While I'm editing the sketch, Anjay gives me a live preview of the result so I can play with it without breaking anything. And this new shape is even more radical than my original. But at any point, I can jump back to the main workspace and admire my beautiful ball. And that's it. An amazing part made with just four features with no software installed, no crashing, and no overthinking.